Dear friends, dear colleagues, today we're going to speak about the work of the testing center. If you are the ones who are going to help us uh, in creating the testing centers in your country, this is the meeting for you. Now I will address my colleagues in Ukrainian. Wait a moment. Шановні колеги, якщо ви фахівці, які будуть долучатися до проведення національного мультипредметного тесту або магістрських випробувань у межах тимчасових екзаменаційних центрів і хочете прослухати вебінар про роботу тимчасових центрів українською, будь ласка, відкрийте інший вебінар, який щойно завершився. Він уже є на каналі Українського центру оцінювання якості освіти. So, dear colleagues, today we're going to speak about the, the testing centers that are going to uh, administrate the admission exams for, Ukraine, for Ukrainians. If you permit, I will start my presentation. How we will build our work? First, I will do a half an hour presentation, and then you'll be able to ask questions. If you have any questions, just comment on this video, uh, and I'll address them as soon as I finish the presentation. Thank you very much. Let's start the presentation. By the way, this presentation will be available on the YouTube channel of the Ukrainian Center of Educational Quality Assessment, so you can get back to this video whenever you, you decide that you are ready. So, um, this year, as you know, the traditional admission exams that we uh, used to conduct in Ukraine, uh, those were called the external educational evaluation and the master's exams can no longer be conducted. Those were the paper-based exams, but due to war, due to uh, the fact that our country is constantly attacked by the Russian aggressor, we are not able to provide the admission exams for our students in the traditional way. So what we are doing is that we are conducting the national multi-subject test, the master's complex test, and the master's test of educational, uh, of educational competence. These three tests are going to be used in the admission campaign to Ukrainian higher educational institutions. The national multi-subject test is going to be used to enter the bachelor's degree. The master's tests, bo both the MCT and the MTEC, will be used to enter the master's programs. Testing centers are actually the institutions at which we are going to conduct the assessment. What are these institutions? Probably you are the masters or the heads or the leaders of, the, of one of those institutions. So those will be the computer equipped classes in uh, schools, universities, other institutions, depending on the country that is helping us and depending on the local opportunities of the countries that are assisting us in conducting the testing. Uh, when we speak about the testing center, we are thinking about three people, actually three roles. The testing center manager, this is the leader uh, of the whole procedure of the assessment. This is the person who will have to facilitate the assessment and who will have to lead senior instructors and IT specialists. This is also the person who will be working in the online platform to receive some information from uh, the Ukrainian or the regional centers of educational quality assessment. Um, this testing manager should be a Ukrainian speaking colleague. Why? Because our platform is localized uh, in Ukrainian and it will be quite difficult for the person to work uh, in uh, English. If you're an English speaking colleague, uh, you should probably have an assistant who'd help you to work with the platform or with everything else. The IT specialist. This is actually the right hand of the TC manager. Uh, and this person is responsible to actually operate the computer equipment within the testing center. What do we mean? This is the internet access. This is the work of the laptops or the computers. This is the responsibility of this person. And also the senior instructors. Sometimes they're also called proctors. So these are the people who will also be dealing with the online platform, uh, but, but they will have to conduct the assessments within the classes. 
these people also have to be Ukrainian speaking people. Why? Because they communicate uh, to our task takers and they also work in the Ukrainian speaking platform. So they will have to know um, Ukrainian as uh, of their first language um, and that to, will uh, allow them to uh, to take all the function to to actually uh, work on all the functions that they're required to. The IT specialist might be an English speaking colleague or the local uh, language speaking colleague, but then there should be some person to be a link between the TC manager, the IT specialist, and the senior instructor. Because uh, if some software or the computer um, does not work, the computer does not respond, uh, the TC manager should be able to communicate that information to the IT specialist to solve the issue. Before the testing date, uh, the TC manager will receive from Donetsk Regional Center of Educational Quality Assessment uh, some information. This will be the list of workers you had the opportunity to train uh, working with the online platform on Tuesday, and you probably have received the list of uh, workers that are to work in your uh, examinational center. If not, you will have that list shortly. Some very important documents are also the regulations of the TC work and some technological maps. What are the regulations? The document called the regulation of, the, of TC work is actually the document that describes all the procedures that are taken in the testing center. And what we are doing now is actually we're working on the uh, regulations of TC, but we are visualizing that document. The three documents called technological maps uh, of the TC manager, IT specialist, and the senior instructors are the documents that describe actions of each colleague minute by minute, hour after hour. So this is a detailed description on what is going on. You will also receive some informational materials, classroom numbers, direction IDs, signs for marking uh, the testing center. What are those? Those are the signs that will help the test takers locate themselves in the um, strange environment. They will have the opportunity to uh, get through the testing center to um, the class, to find themselves in one of the uh, computer classes, um, to actually um, see uh, the indicators. And so uh, those are the materials that are used for the test takers to comfortably work in the testing center. Before the test day, TC manager will also receive the link to the online platform. Like uh, last week when you uh, received some information from the regional, uh, from the Donetsk Regional Center, you received the link to the platform where the testing was conducted, the um, testing of the platform was conducted. In the same way, you will receive the link the logging and the password to answer to enter the platform. I'd want to recall that um, the uh, data that you received uh, last week is not the data that you will be uh, using in the real testing. That was the field operational platform. That uh, that's why it might have had some problems in working in operating. Um, some issues might have occurred, but that's because this was not the real platform. We are going to be working on the real platform so that will be another website with another logging and another password. The TC manager together with you as the leader of the institution uh, should um, ensure that every classroom has the special equipment and the special things. So uh, previously uh, you and the regional center have agreed on the number of the working places for students uh, basically, you were speaking about the number of the computers available, and we have subtracted sub, uh, some uh, computers that we will be using for the personal and uh, uh, some additional uh, computers that uh, we will use in case of emergencies. And that was the number of the working places. So the number of the working places that you mentioned before should be the number of the working places available. There should be a working place uh, for you, of course, and there should be a working place for each senior instructor. Every working place should be equipped with a personal computer or a notebook connected to the internet. 
One thing that you probably haven't, haven't done before is the place for the personal belongings. As our regulations say that um, students should not use their pers personal mobile phones or purses while taking the assessment, we are required to have a desk or a table at which students will be able to put their personal belongings. And um, so this shouldn't be anything um, um, too complicated. It's just in the entrance of the class, there should be a desk where each person will place his or her own stuff. Uh, what you see on the screen is also something important. You see a printer or a copier. One of those things should be uh, available in every testing center. Why would it be used and how will it be used? It will be used to print the lists of students that you will receive via the platform, uh, students' cards with loggings and passwords to enter the um, system. Uh, it will also be used to print out some other uh, materials for the testing center, and this will be done on a daily basis. So every day when the testing center is used for conducting the assessment, the printer, the printer should be available for the use of the TC manager. Uh, on the picture, you also see paper. We uh, ask you to help us uh, with, th with the paper. This paper will be used both for printing the materials and to give to our students so that uh, while working with the test, they will be able to make some notes um, to solve items, uh, to, uh, to do some writings. So every student is required to take a pen but the students are not required to take, to take any additional materials with themselves. So that when they come to the testing session, they will be given the piece of paper. The calculations on the amount of paper that you need to, uh, that we ask you to assist us to receive will be given to you by the regional center. Uh, in general, we speak that that will be about uh, three pages for every um, student taking the test. Uh, why three pages? Because that's one page of the instructional materials plus about 1.3 pages for a student to use um, for notes. Um, you should also uh, you, you should also help us equipping the working places for participants. We understand that every testing center has its own structure and his, has its own uh, places for placing the monitors, the notebooks, and so on. Uh, so uh, it might be difficult for you to change that. But if possible, we ask you to uh, set the test, uh, set the, uh, the notebooks or the laptops in, or the PCs in such a way that students do not see each other's screens, that they do see their own screen, and that the monitor is not um, too far or too close to the user. One, one thing to record also um, is the thing about the wires. Um, you understand that the, those the test participants will be students, and um, sometimes the wires can be an issue. So if possible, it is important to fix the wires in such a way that students do not um, crash uh, your uh, testing center and do not flip any equipment. Before the testing date, you should also check if uh, the uh, whole uh, center is equipped in such a way that students are able to enter it, uh, to get out of it, that they see where the testing center is, that they see how to get to a specific room uh, in the testing center. So that's all should be marked. I'm sure that it is already marked. Who can en enter the testing centers? We do not allow parents or other individuals enter the testing centers. Only test takers, um, people who work in the testing center, and of course, um, 
uh, you as the leaders of the institutions, as the uh, representatives of maybe the government or um, as the representatives or any institutions assisting us are able to use the testing centers. But no parents, no media, if you do not allow that to happen, can, can enter the testing center. And we ask you, um, if possible, to facilitate um, only the people who you allow to be in the testing center and nobody, uh, no third parties allowed. Um, at the day of the, during the day of the assessment, um, um, TC uh, personnel have to have some name tags. If this is not possible to make uh, the name tag, one can also put just a card saying the name and the, uh, the job in a specific testing center. That will make the lives, the lives of the test takers easier, the lives, uh, uh, also your life probably easier because you can communicate to each other and the test takers also are familiar with the people whom they are communicating to and they understand who to talk to. One requirement that is only the requirement for Ukraine, uh, for the citizens of Ukraine, uh, is to uh, install on the phone the so-called specialized uh, DIA application. This is the uh, online digital tool to check the documents, um, uh, and it is created by the Ukrainian government. Um, some of our students might have their documents in DIA, and uh, we ask the personnel to help us check if those documents are valid. Uh, so we will require Ukrainian citizens who work in the testing center to put that application so they are able to check it. Uh, when you receive, when the testing center manager receives um, the information about students taking the test on a specific date, on a specific shift, they will have to put the lists of students in each TC and the list of students in each class up front of the class, up front of the testing center. Uh, that, will, um, that will allow students uh, to enter the testing center. They know that they are welcomed there and that will allow you to check that the students are entering the correct room. There are a lot of questions on when the testing center manager should come to uh, the testing center. The testing center manager should come uh, either two hours before the assessment or 75 minutes before the assessment. That depends only on the number of the working places in a specific testing center. If the testing center is comparably small, up to 30 working places, then the testing center manager will um, have enough time, will have 75 minutes will be just enough uh, to get ready for the assessment. If the testing center is comparably large, then it might take a bit more time. So it's um, about two hours before the assessment. What this time is used for? This time is used uh, to work with the online platform, to make all the necessary um, arrangements to the testing, uh, to prepare the testing center for work. As you know, we already have two videos in English uh, about the work of the online platform and about the functional used uh, by the TC manager and the senior instructors on the platform. Using these QR codes, you are able to uh, get to those websites and to, to those videos and see what uh, the platform allows um, the personnel do and how the, uh, the system is used. I'm sure that you understand that uh, the third party in this uh, in the work of the online platform um, are students and um, um, the uh, description uh, of the functional for students will be available on our YouTube channel on Friday. Uh, so all the students will be familiar of the way how the platform works and they will be familiar of the functional shortly. So via this platform, the TC manager um, 
who arrives earlier to the assessment, upload, downloads, I'm sorry, the list of test takers, the class lists of participants, class reports, observation cards, and individual cards. These all documents are the documents that will be, um, that, that are necessary for the testing center to operate. And the, these documents are available for the download in, uh, during the day of the assessment. They will not be available prior to the assessment, only during the day of the assessment, before the assessment. One of the functions of the TC manager is not only to upload those documents from the platform and to print them out, but also in case of necessity to add some time, some testing time to the participants with the special education needs. Um, every participant um, uh, will be marked uh, in the uh, in the platform um, and um, the participant will have a notion about the special education needs that notion will be uh, a large i that will be on the right uh, to the participant's name and family name and if the notion i uh, in the list of the uh, if there is a notion i in the list of the participants then the tc manager knows that this participant requires some extra help and that extra help might be extra time. And then the participant using the functional clock is able to add some time to the, um, to the some testing time to the particular student. Um, on the testing date, students will arrive to the testing centers. How do students know where to arrive? Well, if we are speaking about the main session of the national multi-subject test, then on the 12th of July, which was yesterday, the participants received invitations. In the invitations, they see the addresses that you kindly have shared with us. And these addresses will be used by the participants to uh, to enter the testing center. I mean, they will know when, uh, at which time, at which date, on which date, and at which place the assessment will be con uh, conducted for uh, them. Participants are to arrive not later than 10 minutes before the beginning of the test. If the test takers are late, we are not to allow them to enter the uh, testing uh, center and to enter the testing classroom. The participants will show the ID cards. And if um, in the list of the participants and in the ID card, the, uh, the testing manager uh, or the senior instructors will see the same information, those test participants are welcomed to the center. Now, something I'm sure that might be confusing, but we'll get over that. Don't worry, everything will be fine. So we will conduct the assessments simultaneously in Ukraine and abroad. Why, does that, why is that happening? Because we have the limited number of the testing forms and we're not able to open all the different testing forms in all the different time zones. So, the first shift of the assessment will start at 10 o'clock Kiev time, and the second shift of the assessment will start at 3 o'clock in the afternoon Kiev time. That means that if you are, for example, from Poland, and we have one hour difference between Kiev and Poland, Warsaw and Kiev, then you will start your assessment at 9 o'clock taking your local time. And if you're even further in Canada, we have one location that is far, far, far from us, seven hours further from us, then we've arranged to have our session seven, or seven hours earlier to your time. That will be simultaneous, simultaneous. If we have from Ireland, um, I think you and I have two hour differences. That means that the first session might have started at eight o'clock in the morning. And the second session uh, will start at one o'clock in the afternoon. That's why I think in Ireland, we, cho we chose to conduct only the second shift of the assessment. 
only to facilitate uh, students and the staff to come to the testing center uh, in the time that is appropriate uh, for the work of the testing center. Otherwise, for all of the testing centers, we are working simultaneously in Ukraine and abroad. By the way, the participants know about it. In their invitations, they have the information about the beginning of the session, and they have in brackets the information about um, the time zone that they are supposed to, um, to look at. During the testing, personnel cannot work with the items. They are not making calls to their friends, discussing coffee times and whatever. Um, the personnel cannot answer questions about the items. Uh, they cannot help students. I know that sometimes it's very tempting to help a student, especially if you're a mathematician or the teacher of languages and you want to help students. This is not possible. This is not permitted. Um, and you will not uh, be able to, of course, use any devices that will, um, that will uh, share the items um, and that will allow to share the information. Of course, you will be using your mobile phone to, make, to text other colleagues, to ask questions. Of course, you might call uh, to, uh, to uh, Donetsk Regional Center or to your uh, manager in the center. Of course, you may do that. But you do that in a such a way that students are not um, disturbed, that students uh, are continuing to, um, to go through the assessment, they're continuing their testing. Now, um, the senior instructors, their roles are described in detail in the technological card, the technological map. Uh, if we do it shortly, uh, senior instructors will, ha will have to actually facilitate the assessment in class. They will work with every um, with their class. They will um, uh, instruct students on their work. For that, we have developed um, the texts that they will be using. So they will be having standard procedures. They will not be making anything up. Uh, and they have to follow those procedures. Um, they will have to check if all the participants are present. If the participants are working in the uh, online platform, if the participant has a mark I uh, near the family name um, and uh, needs um, some uh, special accommodations, um, the senior instructor will see that and will able to check if, for example, um, those accommodations are facilitated. What are those accommodations? The most common accommodation is the additional time. The test uh, for the majority of students will last for 120 minutes, which is two hours. But some students will have the mark I saying that they need additional 30 minutes. So th for them, the test will last for 150 minutes. And the senior instructor will able to see if that is correct. And if the testing center manager who is supposed to add that time has forgotten to do that, the testing, uh, the senior instructor will be able to, uh, to remind uh, the testing center manager that this is important. Of course, the, the senior instructor controls the procedures of um, uh, taken by the test takers. So the testing center, uh, the, the senior instructor, cannot allow students work with their mobile phones, chat, discuss some things, um, disturb other participants. That's his actual job. Um, when the time allowed for the testing center, for the work of the test takers is over, the platform actually will limit students and will block students and students will not be able to proceed. But uh, the staff will have to follow some additional um, some additional procedures. They will um, actually make notions about each student finishing or not finishing the assessment. Uh, they will have to receive the notes from any students who used them. So all the paper notes are left in the testing centers. Of course, we do use different testing forms for different sessions, but we do not want our items to be shared 
shared among the participants. That's why all the notes, the papers are left within the testing center. Um, also, the uh, senior instructor uh, is actually making some notes in the classroom report, making some necessary things uh, noted uh, on the platform. Um, and after that, uh, the test taker may leave the class. It might happen even if uh, the test taker wants to leave earlier. For example, he or she might finish the assessment to, in 30 minutes, uh, not waiting for an hour, 20 minutes. And this is also possible, but the senior instructor will have to follow certain procedures for this to be done. One important notion, we understand that different things might happen in the testing center. Of course, there are so many dangers in Ukraine um, that we have all that written down in details on the actions of the personnel, for example, when, when it is an air alert or something like that. But we understand that something might also happen to the testing center in the other countries. So if there are some circumstances that are of threat uh, to the life and health of the, testing, uh, of, the, of the test takers or the personnel, uh, the testing might be terminated or even suspended. And this is, um, of course, true. Um, after the test, the senior instructor will complete some forms, both in the online platform and in paper, and the IT specialist will um, actually check uh, the uh, laptops and the computers, because probably, most probably, um, the testing center will work for another session, so it will require to prepare the class for the next session. After the... Uh, after the testing in the class form, the TC manager uh, will have to make some notes uh, on the platform that will be uh, completing uh, the electronic register of the special system, and that will be notes in the observation card. And um, uh, that will be some notes on the classroom reports and observational maps. Those are printed. Um, if something is uh, printed and there are some notions on it, the TC manager is to make um, photos of that and to send that to the regional center. Um, that's what we mean by the originals. We don't speak. We don't say that you will need to send the whole piles of original documents, but we need the pictures if this is possible. Some test takers might violate the rules or the testing procedures of the testing center. We understand that they might be using their mobile phones during, the, during their work on the computers. Uh, they might um, have some dangerous objects. Um, sometimes it happens. They might disturb other task participants. All of these violations are to be stopped and the task taker is to be uh, taken out of the testing center. So the task take taker who violates the rules of the testing center will not be able to proceed the assessment and will not be able to receive his or her result. Um, when, um, when the test taker um, actually uh, is caught on some violations, the testing center manager uh, will have to um, make notes in the following documents. They will, that will help us to ensure the rights of the test takers. So what will the test, uh, the, the manager do? Um, he or she will fill in the report of the participant's violation the classroom report and the observation card um, and, the, and make notions on the electronic register. So these are the documents that require short notes on the family name, the name of the, uh, of the person who violated the rules, the description of the violations, and um, actually that will require also the signatures of the people who noticed the violation. Uh, so, um, the, in case of the violation or in case of any, any situation that is not described in the technological map and the violation is something that um, has not been unforeseen before, 
uh, then the testing center manager and the senior instructors will have to make a decision on the further steps. Uh, and the decision will have to be made in a clinical way and will have to be reported in the proper documents. If there is anything, any situation that you do not know how to act in, that you feel that you are lost and something is going on, not described anywhere, you may always call the Donetsk Regional Center for Education Quality Assessment. Of course, I'm not putting any personal information, for example, the numbers of the phone call, uh, uh, phone numbers uh, on the screen, uh, because this video will be available online and I'm sure we don't want anyone, everyone to call our colleagues, but, you know the phone numbers of colleagues. And in case you have any questions, you of course might reach the colleagues. One thing that I would also want to uh, make a note on, um, Ukraine has always been uh, using the paper-based assessments. We have conducted our assessments uh, for many, many years, and we were only dreaming about the online assessments and have never had the chance to use the online assessments. But this year and uh, this year's unique circumstances have forced us for action. And because we received this strong support from our partners, we were able to proceed. The online platform that we are working with now was created within the three months because of the support of the UNICEF, UNESCO, the government of Switzerland, the um, uh, project uh, DECIDE, and the uh, portal um, SUHARI, which is an, an NGO. And we thank those organizations for their kind support. I would also want to thank you colleagues, you our dearest colleagues. We're extremely lucky because we've received so much support from all the countries of the world. Our students are now receiving their chances for um, admission, and we hope that when this war is over, they will be able to build the better future for our country um, and they will come back to Ukraine because they have a motive. And one of the strongest motives for a young person, uh, of course, is the higher education. Um, and we hope that with your help, we are able to give this opportunity to our students. Thank you very much for your help and assistance. We are the luckiest people on earth because you are supporting us. Uh, and um, I hope we are able to thank you at some point. But now we have questions that I am ready to answer. Today, uh, today um, there will be two of us uh, working with you. Uh, my name is Tatiana Vokulenka. I'm the deputy director of the Ukrainian Center for Educational Quality Assessment. And I will be able to, an to answer some your questions about the general procedures. And also we have uh, Larisa Lashenka, uh, who is the deputy director of the Donetsk Regional Center for Educational Quality Assessment. I'm sure a lot of you have already spoken to uh, Ms. Larisa and have already communicated about them, some things. So we will be answering your questions um, and your questions on, are under the, this video in the commentaries. Uh, so I will be reading the commentaries, just a moment, and we'll be answering the questions. If there are any, if there are any questions, please don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to put those questions. Okay, we have some questions. Uh, greetings from... Um, uh, from Istvan uh, University, uh, Istvan University in Hungary, dear, uh, dear friends, greetings from all over the world. We thank you for, um, for helping us. Do you have solutions for computer uh, rooms composed only PCs with Windows 7? Um, dearest Lilia, uh, what we have found out shortly that our platform works fine on the Windows 7. No, no problems or mistakes were uh, found with the work uh, of our platform on the Windows 7. So if your computers or PCs are equipped with the um, 
with the Windows 7. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Uh, you don't need to uh, to do any anything additional. Um, it will be fine. Uh, now another one. Oh dear, Michaela from Romania. Thank you very much. We are happy to see you here. Hello. Should we have uh, a UK keyboard on these computers? Um, uh, dear Marius, um, what we have mentioned earlier that um, our uh, our items are uh, closed items, meaning that those are MCQ matching and inputting the numbers items. Uh, students will use their keyboards um, to enter their logins, passwords and numbers. So if possible, we would ask you to have the, um, uh, the in English language on the keyboard, um, Ukrainian or Russian, Ukrainian is not, um, is not required. Uh, students will, uh, will, will, will be fine without that. Uh, the thin clients of our computer rooms are under Windows 7 with upgrade Google Chrome. Will the students be able to pass the exams in this configuration? Yes, they will. Will there be someone to translate in Ukrainian? We have discussed several times that we need help with that. Uh, dear David, uh, we will have the Ukrainian stuff in every single testing center, and we are now finding the people to work in the testing centers. Uh, unfortunately, it will be quite complicated to translate everything that's going on, so we will uh, have uh, the people. If you might mention the country or the city where you are in, I'd be able to tell you um, some more precise data on the people who be working with you. Uh, for now, we have only two problems actually with finding the personal and uh, our um, uh, um, our honorable um, colleague David from your uh, and um, uh, the colleague. Um, Oh, uh, that's actually, yes, uh, David uh, from your is um, uh, one of the is one of the people that we'll need to reach because we cannot yet find people from your and we are discussing the possibility to uh, help people arrive from the capital to your because there will be only one assessment date. And we also have for now a problem with finding this personal in Zagreb. Uh, we are lacking three people in Zagreb. In every other city, for now, we have found some Ukrainian-speaking uh, colleagues. Um, most, in most of the cases, teacher teachers who will um, help you facilitate the assessment. What happened if we do not have a Ukrainian sitting uh, citizen among our staff? How can we use the DIA if necessary? Well, if you if there is no one from if there is no one with Ukrainian citizen, uh, citizenship, that's also fine. Uh, you will be asked. Um, this this is uh, not the perfect story, but in your case, it's fine. Students will open Dear on their device, and you will ask them. You will actually take their device and. Uh, Click, uh, click the device to check if the system is updated and that will be enough. Most of the students will have their physical ID, so they have they will have their passports with you. Um, and we hope that they we actually address them to have their passports with them. And uh, DIA is something uh, that was not, um, that probably will not be typically used by students, but there are actions to do. Uh, what will happen? Uh, what will be the application process? Who will come to take the test? Will there be a list of advanced who will come on the day of the exam? Uh, well, what, what happens is that uh, in the online platform, I gave you the link to it at the beginning. And of course, this, um, uh, this uh, presentation will be available, so you will uh, be able to uh, record it. Um, in the day of the assessment, the testing center manager enters the, pro the platform and he or she has the functional to upload the list of students, their passwords and logins and their individual cards. And that will be done in the day of the assessment. Um, there are decision-making and record-keeping tasks related to the exam. The dyslexic candidate, which documents will be uh, uh, used to determine the extra time. The extra time will be given only to students who in the platform have the sign I. And the sign I, if you click on it, it will show which 
um, accommodations um, there, there are. Among the accommodations, there are, for example, that those students are allowed to have special equipment for hearing and the addition, for example, the additional time. So you will not be checking any uh, prescriptions, any medical um, documents. That is all done by the regional center. You will only, as the testing center manager, click the I button and see if it says plus 30 minutes, you will add the 30 minutes, that's it. Um, who will be responsible for recording this in the program? This might be race, few language translation issues. That's what we are saying, that the testing center manager should be Ukrainian speaking. If he is not or she is not Ukrainian speaking, there should be Ukrainian speaking assistant. And the testing center manager is responsible for entering this into programs. If the test taker tries to open a new tab on the computer besides the one he's given the access platform, um, this is restricted in our documents and we uh, will ask senior instructors uh, to work with the test takers and to limit their access to any other web pages. So you will come to the, if you are a senior instructor, you will come up to the test taker, you will ask the test taker to close the extra window. And if the student does that, again you will fix that and uh, it will be the violation of taking the assessment rule and you will have to take the student out uh, can you tell when we receive info about who will work as a tc manager and other people during the exam when will this when will these people conduct us the dansk university of poland um, well in shortly uh, this will, information will be available to you. Uh, we have people um, in Gdansk who would want to work with us. Maybe I will ask uh, Miss Larissa uh, to help me. Питання по Гданську, коли вони отримають переліки людей, і коли вони, коли ці люди з ними зв'яжуться. Я вітаю, колеги. Welcome, dear colleagues. Glad to see you all. Найближчим часом, я так вважаю, що це буде вже до п'ятниці, тобто до 15 липня. Методист, який відповідає у нас за Польщу, це Хижнякова Вікторія, обов'язково зв'яжеться з вами і повідомить про те, які будуть... Donetsk Regional Center has appointed one colleague to work with each country. For Poland, that would be Hizhniak Victoria, and she will consult you on any questions. By Friday, which is July 15, she will inform you, dear colleagues from Gdansk, uh, from Gdansk uh, about the people working together with you, and um, she will help you get in touch with them. Okay, we're continuing. Did I hear right that we will only have one assessment day? And which day will it be? Oh yes, dear David, um, uh, in Gyor uh, in there will be only one assessment day. Uh, and that will be, um, uh, I, will, I will not say that uh, right now because we keep uh, the dates uh, non-public, but the Methodist who, who will work with you will make a note, um, will let you know about that. And uh, of course we need to find um, people to work with you for that day, but I'm sure we'll, we'll do. Can you write an answer in this chat, please? Um, yeah, I will write all the answer in the chat uh, if that is in need. Um, but I, I don't see your question, Eric. About the Windows 7. Yes, Windows 7 will work fine with our online platform. Yes, I will be able to write that in chat. During the workshop, it is said to describe the platform. If a student with no problem needs more time to take the test, how can we write in, in, in Ukrainian language? Um, uh, dear friends, uh, in the platform, only the Ukrainian speaking colleagues or you with the Ukrainian speaking assistants will work. 
So um, we, as I mentioned before, we have found people in every testing locations, but two, and we're still looking for those people. You will know the Ukrainian speaking colleagues who will work together with you, and they will make notes on platform and they will read the notions uh, on platform. So they will know for sure uh, what um, uh, what is needed to be to be done? Don't worry, you uh, you will not have to write those things in Ukrainian. That will be done by people who know Ukrainian. We add uh, the extra time before starting the test. In Cluj Napoca, we have an English speaking manager and no assistant yet. Um, in Cluj Napoca, you might have Ukrainian, an English speaking manager with the assistant who knows Ukrainian, and that assistant will help to uh, make those notions and to work with the platform. The extra time is added by the TC manager before the assessment. Yes, if you are English speaking and you have, uh, you will have the assistant uh, speaking Ukrainian for sure, and uh, I. 100% sure that we found people in Cluj Napoca, so that will not be a problem, don't worry. You will not have to do it yourself. Do you have a test link or the test exam to test, to test if, the, if this will validate operation? We were aiming to uh, practice that yesterday. Unfortunately, we're not able to practice that um, now. Uh, and to test the system um, now. Why? Because the system is already transferred to the, um, to the real testing mode. And unfortunately, we're not able to share that link with you. Uh, but in most of the cases, the system works. So hopefully it will too. Yes, dear David, thank you very much. We, uh, we will share the date with you. and. Uh, uh, the two challenging cities we have are Zagreb and Dior, and I, uh, and we are to find some people there with, with everyone else. I'm sure the colleagues from the Donetsk Regional Center for Educational Quality Assessment will share your your timetable and the list of colleagues who will be working with you shortly, so you will know all the information in advance. I don't see any other questions here. Um, we have answered all the questions. So, um, Ms. Lashenka and I uh, are grateful for your help, uh, for your time and for your efforts. Uh, we will do uh, all that depends on us uh, to assist you in helping us. Um, due to you and your kind work and assistance, our students will have a chance to enter the universities of Ukraine this year. We appreciate that a lot. And on behalf of the Ministry of Education and Science of Ukraine and the Ukrainian Center of Educational Quality Assessment, we thank you for everything you're doing for us. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to write any one of us. We are in touch all the time and we will surely answer all your questions right away. Thank you very much. We will do our best to make this experience as successful as possible. Thank you.